At the beginning of every Tarkov wipe, there seems to be rules, lessons, or habits that I have to learn or relearn from the previous one, mainly because sometimes a late wipe can last a while, so when you're running around without much of a goal, you can fall into some bad habits. So I went ahead and learned some of those so you don't have to, mostly the hard way. I like to go ahead and pass those along, whether or not you're a new player that's looking to get better or an experienced player that's looking for a bit of a refresher. I think it'll help make your wipe a little bit more successful, and honestly, some of them are kind of funny, but they are things that you should incorporate into your everyday Tarkov raids. Also, if you're looking for a Tarkov community or a new stream to watch, feel free to swing by my channel. It's twitch.tv slash soupchef. We'd love to have you come by, ask a question, or hang out. All right, let's get into it. First is look around a little bit before you start looting. There's an unwritten rule in Tarkov. If there's one, there's two. If there's two, there's three, and so on. So just check your surroundings before you do something dumb like this. Sounds. Oh my god, that scab just took a whole magazine, dude. Let's look at all these bullet holes. One, two, three, four, five. Ow. Dude. In the situation here that I got myself in, there's not too much I could have done, especially without an optic to really look around, but it's better to go ahead and take a glance, maybe look, try to bait some shots. I know it's really exciting whenever you do get a PMC elimination or you find a juicy scav that you want to go see what you got, but it's really better just to kind of move around a bit, even if it's just running back and forth, doing some free looking, just any sort of those kind of things, just to make sure that you're safe. Here, I was being a little cocky and honestly just complaining a little bit, <laughs> but I can promise you that from here on out, I've taken the time just to look around a bit and really make sure that the area is secure before I start looting. Make sure you have a backup plan or really prepare yourself based on the quest that you're doing. I got myself into a pretty bad situation the other day in Factory doing Tarkov Shooter Part 3. And there's a couple things I could have done to make sure that this didn't happen. Oh no, I missed. Oh no. What is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have a melee and I couldn't reload a mag. He was just chasing me. You know, the first thing I could have done was, of course, hit my shot so none of this was a problem, but. While I was healing and after I took some time to make sure that I was okay, I should have taken a little bit of time and repacked some mags. I mean, also, I didn't bring in a melee. I don't normally, personally, and that's because I like to be able to have the option to pick up melees off of scavs for money and also to save some weight so I'm not always overweight because sometimes, really, if you add a grenade, it's like that point two that puts you overweight so that you can't level your endurance. So I don't carry a melee most times, and I don't think it would have helped me much in this situation. Might have made the clip a little bit more funny, but I don't think it would have saved my life. But I should have taken the time to repack mags or bring in another one and the next couple raids when i kept doing this quest i absolutely did that even if repacking mags means that i can't move as quickly as i want or i die repacking i'd rather not just be standing out in the open and have someone you know run at me with a knife and i can't do anything about it or i could have brought in a sidearm honestly because pistols don't cost very much i probably should have just done that even though i was prioritizing bolt action kills you know there's always a way that you can keep yourself from getting into kind of terrible situations people tarkov and the people that play tarkov are very weird sometimes and you can run into some really weird situations and you're going to be very surprised by them i've played a lot of tarkov and i had a situation in customs the other day that's the first time I've ever seen anybody pull this move, and honestly, it was really big brain and confused me very, very much. There we go. Got that guy. Did I not kill his buddy right here? Dude, where is this guy's body at? I killed him right there. I watched this. I watched him fall down. While I was chasing down this player and shooting at them, they were part of a three-man. They just laid down laid down in the middle of the fight. I thought that meant that I had eliminated them because I was chasing them down from behind. So when they fell over forward, I thought that meant that I had gotten the elimination. I was in the middle of a fight, so I didn't really hear the, you know, the sounds that come with sometimes with an elim, but I reset after that to try to get better position and also heal myself. I ended up getting a second person on that team and I knew there was one more. So I went to go push the last one. All I could find was one. They had just laid down and, you know, pulled like a possum move. It was very interesting. But anyway, just if, if you're in a situation and you think something weird is happening, I mean, it definitely could. And also, if you have an idea and you think it might work, it very well could. There are just weird things that happen in this game. It's one of the best things about it. And it's one of the things that, you know, keeps me coming back personally is I still learn things every day. If you've ever watched an EFT WTF video, you know that, you know, this game is wild. So just don't forget that weird things happen a lot.
This one's gonna come with a little bit of experience and the more wipes you play, this is gonna be a lot easier, but make sure you look ahead a bit. I can't count how many times I've either dropped an item or not picked it up because it wasn't super important and forgotten that I really needed it for a quest later on. I had this happen this wipe whenever I unlocked the signal quest. There were items that I wasn't picking up my scav raids for other things that I didn't really need as much, honestly, because I didn't know that this quest was coming up. Signal, okie dokie. Oh man, I haven't been picking these up. That was stupid. I should have this done already. I forgot about this quest. So there are certain items you should make sure you're stockpiling, especially because in Tarkov, as soon as you need something, I swear you can never find it. I can't explain it, but it's exactly what happens. Anybody that's played Tarkov a lot will know. If you need that one lighter, every jacket you check is not going to have it. I can guarantee it. So just make sure that you read ahead a little bit or that you just try to give yourself a refresher before the wipe. Honestly, I highly recommend if this is one of your first wipes to go into the Tarkov wiki. I'll put a link for it down in the description but go to the quest that you're at and maybe look ahead a couple of them and just see if there's anything that, you know, while you're scaving or while you're running your PMC raids, either way, it doesn't matter. Just while you're looting to make sure that you are grabbing those things, it's going to make it a lot easier. And here's a clip of kind of what it can look like. All right, chat, here we go. This one done, which brings me to farming part two. And I have all the stuff for it because I saved it all. So that one done level 17. Let's go. So to unlock these three right here. And when you find them, you just hold on to them. That way, when you get this quest, you get to do this done that's three quests done and just like that boom test your equipment and your optics you don't want to put yourself in a bad situation where you feel really uncomfortable in a fight you know the fights in tarkov are hard enough the last thing you want to do is not be able to see or not know what kind of like you know equipment you have to work with so just make sure that you double check those and if you have the firing range you know go in take a couple shots make sure it's something you're going to be able to use you know it's tempting in tarkov to just kind of use what you find and that's fine to a point, but you do have to make sure that you're comfortable with it. You know, it might be worth selling an optic and using that money to just buy a different one, which kind of seems unnecessary, but at the same time, you know, don't just grab something, throw it on, take it into a raid. Cause you might end up get to getting yourself in a bad situation or getting eliminated and kind of wondering why. And really you probably could have avoided it by just making sure that it's something you're comfortable with. Here's me the other day. I had an optic in my stash that I thought was fine. Oh, I didn't realize this was so zoomed in. This is not what I wanted. We live and we learn. This optic is terrible. I ended up getting out of the raid, but honestly, it made me feel kind of weird the whole time. I had an optic that I wasn't super comfortable with, and it could have gone much worse had I run into like, you know, a two or three man, because I definitely wouldn't have been able to fight them, especially with the optic that I had on the weapon that I had. You know, my previous video, one of the things that I mentioned was not being cheap, you know, in the early wipe. And of course you have to, to a certain point, especially when you're trying to level your hideout. I am very broke right now by leveling all my different stations, but you know, it's not the worst thing if you take a little bit of money and maybe sell an optic and get one that you're more comfortable with, because ultimately what you have to do is survive raids. So make sure that you're taking the things in that you you need that's going to help you survive you know here i thought i had a variable scope i didn't i ended up being a lot more scoped in than i thought and the recoil on this would have been absolutely brutal if i was trying to fight more than one person at a time i know some of these are kind of simple but sometimes habits in tarkov you have to hear a couple times or you have to learn a few times in order to really hammer them home and even if you've been playing for a while you can forget them sometimes the beginning of every wipe especially you know when you go from having high level skills or high level traders you know you're buying things pretty cheaply Whenever you come back to the game and it's completely new and completely wiped, you know, it's easy to try to fall right back into the habits of just holding down shift and sprinting everywhere or not worrying about if you are looting out in the open because you already have everything that you need. So this is also a reminder that at the same time, if there are things that you've taught yourself, really try to think critically about those, what they are and how you're going to play and make sure that you go into your raids every time with your goals in mind and with goals in mind for how you wanna get better. Hey, if you enjoyed your time, we'd appreciate a subscription. I am gonna link a playlist here called the University of Tarkov where I have all of my guides. I'm gonna keep trying to put some stuff out as we keep going along and I really hope your raids are going well. I hope to see you in the next one. And it could have gone much poorly. Oh God, that is not a word, not a phrase, any of it.